What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how some narcissists and toxic people will always find a way to play the victim. We'll always find a way to blame you for whatever the situation is. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. Thank you so much. No, no, no. I'm, I'm done with you. I'm leaving you. I have to go. It's, it's over. Wow. Really? That, that's it? That's it for us? Why are you acting sad? I'm the one who got hit. I'm the one who got cheated on. Why are you acting sad? I'm I'm not acting sad. I am sad. I just I guess my love for you wasn't what love love doesn't win, huh? Love does win here. My the love I have for myself, I'm leaving you. I guess I'm sorry I couldn't be sorry sorry I'm such a horrible person. Sorry I just couldn't be the person you needed me to be. Why do I feel like you trying to flip the script and play the victim here? Look, I know I cheated on you. I know I hurt you, but how do you think I feel? How do you think I feel when you start crying in front of me because I hurt you again and again and again? How do you think I feel about that? You think you think it's easy for me? So it hurt it hurts you to cheat on me. Yes, you get it. So does it hurt you to put your hands on me too? It hurts me mentally and physically. My hand hurt now. I cannot believe you. I can't. I can't believe you. So welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, folks. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know y'all saw the skit. I know y'all saw the skitty skit. I call it a skit. Call it a skitty skit, um, and whatnot. But that's how it goes a lot of times in these toxic relationship dynamics, y'all. Where that narcissistic person will always find a, will always find a way to play the victim. Like always, like literally. In that situation right there, in, in that skit, the narcissistic person cheated on them, cheated on their partner, hit their partner lied to their partner done pretty much done everything in the book to their partner right and somehow they found a way to play the victim it's like you don't think that me cheating on you me betraying your trust you don't think that hurts me you don't think wow you really don't know me do you you really don't care about me do you because if you knew me and cared about me you would know how this hurts me how this affects me you would know that. You would know. You don't care about me. You don't think it hurts me to hurt you. My little bit, bit. Yeah. Do, and do people fall for that all the time? Yeah. A lot of people do fall for that. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it. Let's keep it hot, hot and ready, like a little Caesar's pizza, like I always say. But you get a lot of narcissistic people, y'all, that will continue that, that will continue to do this type of stuff because it works. Because it works. They will gaslight you and manipulate you into thinking that they are somehow in the right to treat you the way that they treat you. They will play, they will prey on your trauma, your childhood issues, your current issues, whatever you have going on in your life right now, they will blame you for it. Because it's easier, but Lee, why do they blame us for it? Like Lee, you're spending good advice, but why can't they just take accountability like an adult? Why can't they? Because accountability opens the door for the shame monster to creep in. There you go. The shame monster creeps into the lives of narcissistic people and destroys destroys us from the inside out. It just does, y'all. Narcissists want to avoid shame at all costs. And also, they don't want to lose you. Even though they treated you, treated you horribly, stepped outside, stepped outside the relationship, put their hands on you, whatever, they think you belong to them. And they think that you, because love should win here, they think that the, your love for them should just supersede everything that they have done to you. I guess love doesn't win, huh? I guess love doesn't win, huh? You know what I'm saying? But you, this falls into the category. That's the, I, I tell this to people all the time. You will always, the, the longer you stay with a narcissistic person, the more at fault you become for the things that they do to you. In, in, in the mind of that narcissistic person, in the mind of the narcissist, because you stay with me, you are okay with these behaviors. That's why they keep cheating. That's why they keep putting their hands on you. That's why they keep lying to you. Because why, if you're staying with me, if you can, if you're not leaving me, if you consistently stand with me, why, why, why doesn't it like, why doesn't this stuff work? You see what I'm saying? Think about it. Think about it in this position right here. If you're, if, it, if you're so unhappy here, why don't you just leave is what they will tell you. And if you stay, it's so the opposite is true. It's, su it's such black and white, simplistic thinking, y'all. If you stay with me, that means you're okay with the behaviors, right? 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 No, Lee, we stay because we love them and we want, y'all, it doesn't matter what you think. I'm just telling you, I'm being realistic for the mind of narcissists. It doesn't matter what you think or what you feel about the situation. In the mind 
of the narcissistic person that you're dealing with, if you stay with me, you are okay with the behaviors. That's just how it goes, y'all. No matter what you say, believe it's love and love. Lay out love. <sighs> love is not enough. I know what y'all gonna say. Jesus is enough, y'all. If you don't put the work in, Jesus, lay out. You got to put the work in for Jesus to help you. Jesus is not gonna help. Jesus, like, yeah, I'm just telling y'all, love ain't enough. Y'all will love these people to your own demise. You will lose yourself if that person is not willing to work on themselves or take a look in the mirror and things like that. You know. <clears throat> If they're not willing to take a look in the mirror and see themselves, sometimes you can, you know how sometimes you get an angle in the, you know how sometimes in the mirror, like you can see somebody else in the background. Like if I'm looking in the mirror, just like I'm looking at the camera right now and there's somebody right here, that's how narcissists see it. They'll look it in the mirror and they see you right here. It's not like they say, you finally looking at, he, oh, Lee's finally looking in the mirror. But I'm looking in the mirror and see and looking at you. I'm like, that's the, the okay, this is the, what's the cause of my problems in my life? You, you see, you see what I'm saying? Just because, just because I'm looking in the mirror, you're here with me. Oh, yes. If you are still with me, when I, if you are still here with me, standing in the mirror, if you're still standing behind me in this relationship, and you want me to take accountability, and you want me to finally look in the mirror, and I see, if I look in the mirror and you're standing behind me, I see you. I see you. I see you as well. That narcissistic person in your life sees you as well. If you're going to continuously stand behind me and when I finally decide to look in the mirror, I'm still going to see you right here. This is the reflection right here. This is you. I know you don't look like a little basketball, but this is you right here. Your little basketball head thing. Your little basketball headed cutie. <laughs> your little beautiful basket, beautiful, <laughs> beautiful spherical head. Uh, but that's how it goes though, y'all. If you're going to, going to continuously stand behind me when I do bad things and I finally decide to look in the mirror, I'm going to see you. You're still here. You see what I'm saying? I'm not telling you to leave. I'm just saying this. Th 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 think about it from that perspective right there, which you have never heard before. I just came up with that. That's my head. Yeah. A little basketball head. Yeah. Just think about it, y'all, because as long as you're around them, they're going to be able to blame you. There's no rock bottom if they're able to blame you. Like, who did this to me? Who? Who's responsible for my stuff? You standing behind me. You are. And they damn growl at you like a damn like a pit, like a old, like a feral feral dog. Meanwhile, y'all, take your power back against toxic narcissistic people. You have to. You really, really have to. You know what I mean? Just understand the power, understand the strength, y'all. They're going to blame you as long as you're around them. It's always going to be your fault if, if that person isn't willing to work on themselves and look internally. Stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe for more, y'all. As always, Mental Illness is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. You are a mental illness rock star, and I appreciate you for being here. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the screen to subscribe to the channel and watch another one of my videos on my playlist. There's also a link available up here for you to purchase my kids, but remember, it's not your fault on Amazon. So check that out. Thank you. I will see you in the next video. Peace.